All right, what's good, boys? In the past four or five days, there has been this um, the drama going around with Aisha Speed that essentially my man's got cheated on and he broke up with his, his girl. And I've done the effort for you compiling all the details in the story and we're going to go through it to see what's, what's up, what's happened. Now, just for a quick brief, if for y'all that don't know, which is probably nobody if you're clicking on this video, Aisha Speed, you know, a popular streamer, popular YouTuber, with 20 million plus subs, huge YouTuber, and he was recently in this relationship with this girl called Alia Taco. My mistake, Alia Wacko. Alia Wasco. And she essentially was a TikTok star, 1.5 million followers on TikTok, 200K on IG. So she's not a regular girl in it. She's one of them TikTok or social media girls at that point. Around four or five days ago, you see Speed posted this video right here. And in this video, basically, he goes through, you know, his situation with his girl, that the proof his fans compiled for him as to what happened with him and his girl in it, how he got cheated on and those details. We're going to go through that right here. So first clip right here, this is Speed's girl, is it? With some other guy and we're going to see what's up. That right there straight up is crazy. The way his, <laughs> that man is feeling up that girl and assuming, you know, he not gay or nothing. That's tough. Like, Right, that right there is already a red flag in it. You can't do that. That's cheating, basically. And he, ba she basically just bent down and put her bum on her on, on my man's crotch. That's tough. This screenshot we have right here, essentially, if y'all can't see what's up, that's that girl right there. He, she, she on my man's dick. It, do, it just doesn't make sense how I can do all that and you still come back. Somebody gotta be lying to me, and lying and it ain't me. From what we can see here, he basically is saying he can do whatever he wants and she just want him, no matter what he do. And he's saying it can't be real. Taking the piss, basically. Look at her. That That's... You can't sit on another man's lap like that if you're in a relationship. That's some type of way. Just for context, imagine you had a girl or your friend had a girl. Would it be normal for that girl to sit on another man's lap, especially her ex's lap? This photo right here from the previous clip. Look, she basically bent down and put her bomb on his crotch. Like, come on. Are we are we dumb? Are we stupid? Then we got another video Speed posted. Take your hands! Oh, exactly. Look at the way my man is just feeling her up. That's done. It's finished, bro. It's finished. And she <laughs> right back at it with the fucking... My God, bro. The same nigga, bro. That's the same fucking. Am I your type? I'd do it. Thank you. He said I'd do it. And you don't mind that I already hit that. I swear to God, strike me down right now. When Speed called her, she talking about, oh, yeah, I don't really like him for real. I'll just use him to get my fame up. Y'all seen, that's why as soon as she got done filming with Speed, she talking about YouTube videos, YouTube video ideas. She never once said that. Yeah, so what we just seen right there is basically my man saying that she's using him, isn't it? We'll get into that bit later. We'll get into that bit later. Look at how my boy is touching up Speed's ex. Now, let me get to my verdict. So, presumably, we've seen all these clips. I'm not, no, I'm not sure for sure how, you know, his talking situation is this and that, but... Let's just assume they broke up from this, right? Let's assume he got some sense and he cut the bitch. One thing we can learn for sure is that she used him for clout. Simple as, he's one of the largest streamers right now, one of the biggest names in, in the world. And she simply saw her opportunity for fame and she used it fair fucking play. She used him for clout. His name these days can instantly popularize someone. And according to the buddy right there, she literally, according from his words, used him for clout. Now. A good point I was thinking about is what these leechers don't know is that the original person's fame is that much brighter. Now, what I mean by this is she's trying to leech off Speed's fame to get clouted, right? And then just cut. But does she not realize that Speed's fame is about infinitely larger than whatever she can leech off? So even if she does become famous from Speed, all his fan base is just going to flame but hate on her page pages left right center which is why when i tried to look up for her instagram that she's gone 
she probably deactivated it because of all the hate she was getting. With that said though, she can still, even with all the hate, hop on OnlyFans and still make bank. That's just how the meta is in the world they say. That's how the game built. These days, that's how the game is. Now, there's actually a big, big part to this situation. I'll get into that in a second, but before I get into that, let's look at this comment right here. So to give you more of a story, in the follow up video Speed makes, which is right here, essentially sh she claims that Donnie was her. She claims that it was non-consensual, nothing happened, and if anything did, the guy forced it on her. He explains it perfectly. So after watching the video, he basically says, the girl is lying, here's why. She blurred out the timestamp, which when you're showing evidence, you want full evidence, right? If you're trying to hide something, that does make you a little bit suspicious. Beyond that, she said she was drunk and she passed out when the situation occurred. And she said, but she still remembers certain things. And he said, oh, how can you remember when you pass out? Good point. But the point I would make here is, if you're in a relationship, a committed one, why would you then put yourself in a situation where you drink enough to be susceptible and vulnerable to cheating on someone? You would not put yourself in that situation in the first place, right? You would either drink less or be around people that would, you know, hold you back or control you if necessary. You not put yourself in that situation to then cheat on someone. That's just not how it really works. And then third point, she said there were no seats, decided to sit on his lap. That's just bullshit, innit? What do you mean she decided to sit on his lap? Stand up. Can you not stand? Do you not have legs? Are you disabled? Let me know because it seems like you are. The point I'm trying to make here with this comment is essentially the fact that the girl is trying to flip it on the other guy and turn it into a situation. Now, without actually being there, I can't know for sure, right? 100% I can't know for sure. I don't want to make any blatant 100% claims because I wasn't there. I can't make the facts. I don't know exactly what happened. But from my perspective, from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like she was And the fact that she's trying to twist this into something that could ruin a man's career and it has ruined so many people's careers through false accusations. This is just terrible. It's disgusting how you could even allow this to happen. Like the fact that people are even doing this is just disgusting behavior. The point I was trying to make before is I did a little bit of research. It seemed like Speed cheated on his ex. Now, I could be wrong, but if that is the case, you can't help but admit that it's a bit of karma, isn't it? No matter how famous, how successful, how young, how naive the guy is, you can't feel extra sympathy for someone just because they're famous. There's still people with the same consequences, same feelings. They could not be given a pass just because they're famous. Don't get me wrong. That is not to say he can't grow and improve as a person. But we do have to take in mind that he once did that to someone else. So now that someone else is doing that to him, it's a bit of karma that he's feeling what the other person initially felt, isn't it? And there is a saying, cheaters do attract other cheaters. And that's what's up. So, I mean, to end this off, what can we really learn from this? The flaw of being somebody who's got a lot of clout or fame and dating people is that you attract a lot of clout chasers or gold diggers. You can't really make genuine connections as easier. You can't really tell if those type of people that you get involved with, especially in a romantic situation or even on a friendship basis, whether they're there for you and who you are as a character, as a person and the values you bring, or are those values all monetary? Would they leave you if you lost all your money? Would they leave you if you lost all your clout? I know some people are going to go like, oh, well, that's part of you, part of who you are. But if you're looking for a relationship, you want somebody to love you for who you are, isn't it? Not just for what you bring to the table monetarily, but you want somebody to love you for your character, for your personality, for what you bring as a human being beyond paper. To me, this means that at that stage, it's much harder to find genuine connections because of all the fake people around but it's so much easier to find fickle connections because with Flame, there's going to be hella people that would just want easy, easy, you know, easy smashes, easy things here and there. And you can easily find those ungenuine connections. But to find real, true people, true loyalty is hard at that fame. But at the end of the day, famous people are still people at the end of the day, right? They have their own feelings, their own issues. So we can feel bad for speed in this situation. He got cheated on by a girl who claimed who seemed from the facts we see to be lying and that she seemed to have used him for clout. He got cheated on, he's young, he got played on. But we can't 
ignore the fact that he also did that to somebody else he cheated on his ex and that's essentially the story isn't it but like i said cheaters attract cheaters so don't cheat on nobody make that shit clear and just you know be a good person and enjoy life that's a quick one from me stay tuned for my next video it's gonna be a bit better than this and peace out see you in the next one